Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're talking about detoxing. When I am trying to detox, especially now, after the Christmas holidays, I mean, like everyone else, I've had a, maybe a bit too much to eat. I've indulged in things I don't normally eat. And as you know, I'm in Norway and my mum has been buying a lot of maybe not so healthy things and I've eaten them because, hey, it's Christmas. But that doesn't mean all of your goals or everything that you've worked towards just ends up in the well, the bin. My five top tips to detox the body and get ready after you've had sort of a holiday or even if you've just had a binge. So, number one is exercise. So, when you exercise, you release a lot of hormones, you sweat out all the toxins in your body, and you generally just feel better because you get more endorphins, which is um, a hormone that makes you happy, that flows around your body. So it, that is why they say you get more energy from staying active, which is true. It doesn't have to be a hardcore session. Just move your body and maybe do some foam rolling because that is really, really underrated. Um, foam rolling or you can do some stretching. Stretching is great for you and it leaves the body feeling loose and just ready for the next task you're gonna, well, put it in. Um, so exercising is a winner. So staying hydrated is, I reckon that is actually maybe my number one. I drink water all the time and I I keep saying to my friends I need water at latest between every half hour. Um, I always have a bottle with me every time I go into Central I have a bottle with me every time I'm on the bus I have a bottle with me I have a bottle with me everywhere and yeah just water because if you didn't know it's quite obvious actually but when you drink water, your volume, your blood volume increases uh, with the liquid. So then the blood, which is then high in volume, is able to transfer more oxygen through your body. And the oxygen then aids in keeping you concentrated and it gets up to your brain. It just helps with everything. Headaches, concentration, as I said. Uh, generally, it just makes me grumpy if I am dehydrated. So, I really recommend drinking water. And I know a lot of people have problems with drinking water because they just think it tastes bland. Or if you don't like water or the taste of it, you can even in infuse it with uh, lemon. You can have some slices of lemon in it, or you can buy one of those bottles. Of that actually has like a fruit infuser in it. So you can put like berries in there, um, lime, pineapple, whatever you want actually. So water is a really important one. Which reminds me, I am thirsty. <laughs> so then we are on to the diet. And as you know, I really enjoy eating healthily because it makes me feel great and as you also know I am on a whole food plant-based diet so I believe in eating the whole natural food instead of something that has been processed and added a lot of nasties and sugar and salt and oil and fat and I don't want that so for me a whole food plant-based diet works and that could be things like sweet potatoes or maybe an apple, uh, bananas. <laughs> I love bananas. Um, yeah, so these and even kale. So I have a bag of kale here and 
Did you know that dark leafy greens is actually uh, the best uh, greens for you? Just a fun fact. <laughs> but yes, yeah, whole foods, uh, because you know what's in them. It's just the food itself. And if you cook from scratch, you can also know what's in the food you eat, as in the finished meal. In my diet, when I'm trying to detox, I generally, very often, lower my fat intake because fats, I mean, you need fats, they're good for you, but if I have a lot of them, and especially if I have them in processed foods like mock meats or let's say uh, just something like a pastry, uh, I, it doesn't make me feel very good. So I tend to lower my fat intake because when I have been indulging, that is generally, that and sugar is what I have a lot when I have indulged that I don't normally have. So I tend to have maybe half an avocado with a meal and some nuts th uh, throughout the day, maybe a bit of coconut, but I don't throw on a lot of fat, like you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I am the biggest sucker for nut butter, any nut butter. So I try to limit the amount of nut butter and, well, nuts as well, um, that I actually have. But yes, and I'm staying away from oil, I, I'm staying away from butter, vegan butter of course, um, just all that. No, I don't feel very good if I have a very high fat diet. Something that most people don't think about really, but for me, especially after I've started this journey on finding this healthy lifestyle and finding what works for me, sleep. People don't think about sleep and for me, sleep is key. I repeat, it's key. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, sleep, so what people don't think about is when you don't get enough sleep, your body releases a lot of hormones called, I reckon it's cortisol in English, but it's a stress hormone and that stress hormone is basically telling your body and your brain that you are under stress all the time. And when you are stressed, you tend to eat more, you tend to be, well, you don't tend to, you are more tired, you, uh, are, it's more easily to gain weight. And for me, generally, if I don't get enough sleep, which is at least, eight hours a night, I just don't function the next day. I am really grumpy, I can't do what I, well, what I actually need my body to do, especially because I'm a dancer. So it's so, so hard for me to go into the studio and not have slept enough. Sleep also helps the body recover from whatever you, you've you done that day. So let's say you went to the gym and you didn't get enough sleep, your body wouldn't recover as much as it should. So it would lead you to damage your body more in the long run, of course. I mean, you don't die having one night with um, uh, a let's sleep. So that is my five ways to detox and after New Year's Eve, so when we started the new year, this is something I also started to incorporate into my lifestyle again. I do it from time to time, especially after I've been in Norway because I live with my mum's when I'm here and I don't buy the food myself, so it's, I do have some things that I wouldn't normally have, and I, if you are interested, I can also make a video to 
just to show you some things that I have had during this holiday that I don't normally have. I thought it could be interesting because a lot of people are wondering what I actually eat and I've been asked a lot of times if I ever have chocolate. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I think chocolate is my life. So I might do that video. So please leave a, a comment down below if that is something you think would be interesting. That is it. My five top tips for detoxing after a holiday and after New Year's and when you are starting 2018. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Maybe there's at least something for you to take out from this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look up Razzle Dazzle Vegan on social media, and I will see you in my next video. So, goodbye.